Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Web on Sky. Today we will talk about taking a snapshots of our virtual machines in Azure. So, first we will see how we can take a snapshot of our virtual machine from Azure portal uh, manually and how we can automate the same process uh, without any human interaction so that we can de just define a time interval to take a snapshot of our virtual machine for uh, as a backup okay right now i am in inside uh, of my virtual machine and uh, i assume that you already would have logged into your azure Azure account and uh, have already created a virtual machine. So in this case, I am I have already created a virtual machine and uh, I am inside of that machine. Now I want to take a snapshot of this uh, virtual machine. So what will be the step? So after going uh, after clicking on your virtual machine, you will just need to go inside of uh, the just click on the disks and you will see OS disks here so I have all the OS disk and there is no any data disk so I'm clicking on it now as you can see, see there is a option create a snapshot so just click on it and it will uh, create a snapshot and uh, will ask you some information to fill like uh, how, where you want to store the snapshot and what will be the name of that snapshot uh, like that. So just you will need to fill that form and uh, it will get created a as a backup. And the same process I want to automate. So how can you do that? Let's see that. okay uh, now what will what will be the steps to take snap to automate the snapshot creation of our virtual machine so uh, let me just uh, define those uh, uh, those steps so first you will need to create an automation account in azure then create you will need to create a run book and inside the run book you there will be some line of code in PowerShell to uh, to to access the virtual machine, and uh, to do that, you also would require an identity account so that uh, you will be able to access the virtual machine, or Azure will let your script to access a uh, virtual machine because those are protected resources so you can't access them directly in order to take uh, access you will need to create a identity account and then pass the account id in the script and subscription name uh, resource group name location i mean region then you will need to provide the virtual machine host name so these will be uh, some of the information you will need uh, while taking the snapshot by script. So I will put that uh, uh, script resource link so that you will need you will be able to see the, that script uh, completely. And uh, here I'm just explaining uh, what uh, are the things that will you need to. Uh, keep in mind if uh, when you are writing those e scripts and uh, be aware what are the meaning of those uh, information to put in your case uh, once you uh, get ready your e scripts in your run book now you will need to link uh, this run book to a schedule and uh, how you can do that you just need to click on this link to a schedule uh, to schedule this script to run on some interval of time 
to schedule uh, your run book you just need to click on the schedules uh, tab or a link from the uh, left sidebar of the run book and it will open uh, it will ask you to create to add a schedule so you will just need to put uh, information uh, when you want to start and uh, what will be the interval to take snapshots and uh, whether you want to uh, delete it or not it will also get uh, yes uh, whether if you want to expire it then you will need to set the expiration otherwise just uh, uh, it will take snapshots of uh, the virtual machine specified in this run book attached with this is uh, schedule 